Hello, this is Tilfman Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to introduce you to a new add-on. I don't, I don't think it's all that new, but it's something that's new to me because I've just seen it. And the name is kind of difficult to pronounce, but it's based on architectural meshes. It's called the uh, Jark Vis. I think that's pronounced properly add-on. And it's like Archimesh, but on steroids, so to speak. Now I'm going to leave a link of a uh, the link of this add-on in the description below this video. And once you've downloaded it, it's just the same process. And this is can be used for Blender 2.8 and above. And once you've downloaded onto your computer, just go to edit the regular you know uh, step for installing the add-on. Preferences, go to install, and then navigate to where you saved your the add-on. After you've done that, click on install add-on. And I've done that already. Let me see if I can type it in. Oh, there it is. And you just put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's over on this side uh, of your user interface. Now, this is the first time I've actually gone into it. I've seen some tutorials online some examples of it online but I've never really delved into it myself but let's see what it can do let me see we've got, got our mesh up usually when you have an add-on like this that deals with architecture sometimes you have to have a mesh present there to see it work so we've already had one there let's click on add flooring oh okay so you don't have to have a mesh <coughs> excuse me have a mesh present in your seen in order for it to be activated which is cool let's delete that okay this is this is interesting it's already got a pattern in it I didn't know that that would be there that's that's pretty cool and once again this add-on is free I, I don't think I mentioned that before but this add-on is free and apparently it's got some different kinds of flooring different kind of patterns for your flooring Let's click on Chevron. And that's one thing with uh, that I've seen with this add-on that now that I've looked into it at this point. It actually, usually when you click off of an add-on like that, let's press A, you, you don't, you're not working on it, so you've clicked off of it. All your options on this side just disappear and you can't do anything else with this add-on or with the mesh. But I've seen that when you click off of your mesh and you click back on it and you choose something different, it's still active which is I've never seen that in blender at, at all with any add-on period <coughs> free or paid but apparently that's a, this is a step in the right direction not only does it have all these patterns in it it, it also stays active once you click off of it and click back on it and let's check out one more thing usually with something like this you have these patterns the patterns are usually based off of the node system which uses normal maps to generate these patterns I want to see if this is an actual if this is actually part of the mesh so let's, let me tap into edit mode okay that's something else that's impressive now so this is actually mesh based it's not uh, node map based it's mesh based why so no <coughs> when I say node map I mean the pattern isn't generated from a node system of just the normal maps or anything like that this is an actual actual mesh that the actual mesh is divided into these segments which is good and once again this is still active stepping stone I'm, I'm kind of I'm pretty shocked about all this I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed <laughs> by this add-on this is a free add-on that's generated all these patterns onto the mesh that's an actual sculpted so to speak into the mesh it's not a map it's this is an actual geometry in the mesh so this is pretty impressive okay let's see some other things here because it's got um, different measurements you can use for your flooring and different measurements also adjustments you can make with the pattern pattern also which is good and the thickness is there. Let's see. Let's add. Let's add siding. Let's click on that. Let's see what it does. Okay, there's that's the siding. And apparently, the siding has has a uh, patterns too. 
Dutch lap. Oh, that's that's nice. And it's actual geometry. This isn't a map either. This is actual geometry in, in the mesh. Ten regular. Huh. So this is really, really nice. And this, once again, it's free. Okay, this is just an introduction to this add-on. It's, uh, like I said, Archimesh on steroids, pretty much. And what I'm going to do for the next uh, tutorial, or not, yes, tutorial, which is the other aspect of the channel, which is actually creating things as a beginner in Blender. We're going to use this to create a house in Blender. Now that I know how incredible this add-on is. Uh, so yeah, this is today's quick tip, which is an introduction to the Jarkovis. I think that's how it's pronounced. Let me see. Jarkovis add-on in Blender. Once again, this is free open source. And apparently, as you can see, it's pretty incredible. So yeah, this is today's Blender quick tip. And like I said, next week we're going to work on building a house with this add-on because this is pretty impressive. I, I really like this add-on and this is the first time I've actually kind of opened it and I really like it. So yeah, th this is today's quick tip and thank you guys who have uh, been watching the videos and thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future, I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.